This video is sponsored by cdkoffers.com. cdkoffers.com is an all-in-one website where you could buy affordably cheap software and games license keys. They offer a vast catalog on their site. Just simply look for whichever software games you're looking for. Click on the buy now button and you should be taken to the order confirmation page. I know their license keys are already cheap but want to make it cheaper? Simply enter DUDE20 which is an exclusive discount code that will give you a 20% discount from your purchases. Then enter your payment details and you should immediately receive the key once the payment has been confirmed. After receiving the key, you can then activate your software or games instantly. That's just how easy it is in CDK offers. Plus, you should you encounter any problems or issues, feel free to contact their chat support that will assist you instantly. Well based on my experience. What's up and welcome back, it's your tech edit here. Today I'll be showing you solutions on how you can fix Microsoft Edge not responding or keeps crashing issue or problem that's quite pretty annoying. To fix the Microsoft Edge, first we're going to open up Microsoft Edge itself and hopefully you're still now able to open Microsoft Edge even for just a short while as we're just going to do some quick changes on the settings. So click on this free icon right here and then go to the extension settings. We're going to disable all the currently installed extensions on the Microsoft Edge to ensure that this extensions won't be the one that's causing the issue on the Microsoft Edge. Once done, you can now go ahead and close this Microsoft Edge and go ahead and try relaunching the Microsoft Edge. And then go ahead and observe whether or not Microsoft Edge would still keep on crashing or if it's still unresponsive after doing or disabling all the extensions on the browser. However, if that still didn't fix your problem, we can now go ahead and go back to the settings right here. And then we're going to reset the history and cache of our browser. So go ahead and click on the history and then click once more on this icon right here that says more options. And then click on the clear browsing data. Make sure to check the time range to all time and also check all the boxes right here including passwords, autofill, form data, site permissions, all data from previous versions of Microsoft Edge and also this media foundation data. However, just a warning all of your currently logged in websites will be currently logged out and also your saved passwords might also be removed. So be careful if you are going to proceed with this particular step as again those data would be removed from your browser. So after that, go ahead and click on the clear now button and it will reset all the browsing data that are currently stored on your browser. It can be the cause sometimes for the issue or this particular not responding issue on Microsoft Edge and hopefully clearing the browsing data would actually fix that problem for you. Go ahead and again close the browser first, all of the instances of the browser and wait for a few seconds to ensure that the process have been properly closed just to make sure we can even go to the start menu and click on the task manager and then look for any processes such as Microsoft Edge. As you can see here, even if we have closed the browser, Microsoft Edge is still running on the background. We can stop this Microsoft Edge or this other processes by clicking on the end task button. Go ahead and proceed all these processes until you've closed all the processes on the task manager. Go ahead and close this window and we can now go ahead and relaunch the browser and hopefully that again would fix your problem. However, if that still didn't work, we can go ahead and reset Microsoft Edge back to its default settings. Go to this icon once again and click on the settings and you'll be able to see on the left part of your screen a reset settings option. Go ahead and click on the restore settings to their default values. Click on the reset button and it should reset the Microsoft Edge back to its default settings. Go ahead and relaunch once again the Microsoft Edge and again you can go ahead and check whether some instances are still running on the background by going to the task manager and closing them manually. Alright, now that we've closed all the instances of Microsoft Edge, we can now go ahead and close this one and once again retry whether the issue has been already fixed. If the problem has been already fixed since we've restored Microsoft Edge back to the default, then you could stop watching this video. However, if you're still experiencing some issues, then we might have to repair the Microsoft Edge installation by closing this web browser first and then go to the start menu and look for apps and settings. Click on the apps and features. You might be shown 
phone with a different user interface especially if you are on Windows 10 since I'm demonstrating on Windows 11 you should be shown with a familiar interface similar to this one so you should be able to see the apps list and look for Microsoft Edge on this one and you should be shown with the Microsoft Edge installation right here or the app click on this icon right here and then click on the modify button most likely if you're on Windows 10 the modify button is already shown on this particular part so just go ahead and click on the modify button it might prompt you for a user account control just simply hit the yes button and then hit on the repair button it should perform a repair on microsoft edge and hopefully that would fix the problem especially if any files of microsoft edge or dependencies have been corrupted so once the installation is complete just click on the close button go ahead and close this window and go ahead and relaunch your web browser and hopefully that would already fix your problem. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you fix Microsoft Edge not responding or whenever your Microsoft Edge keeps on crashing. Feel free to leave your comments and feedbacks down below. And also I would appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button to get more helpful tech stuff in the future. As always, it's your tech dude here. See you in my next videos.